My name is Debbie Rockwood, and I'm here today to tell you just a little bit about these portraits behind me, who are of Philip and Carrie Rising, and how they're related to my uh, family. So Philip and Carrie Rising bought this 1835 house in 1872, and from then on, their family and descendants owned the house until it was uh, made into the Decorative Arts Center through a lot of hard work on different people's part. <music> Philip and Carrie Rising had two children, Emma Idell Rising, who was called Ida, and George Philip Rising, Emma Idell Rising married Henry Beth Peters. That's where the Peters name comes from. And then George Philip Rising married Lena Bell Wright. Both couples had two surviving uh, boys. The one child on the Peters side, Philip Rising Peters, married Dorothy Bell Wiley, who is my husband's grandmother. Dorothy Bell and Philip Rising Peters had four children, Mary Idell Peters, Philip Rising Peters Jr., Henry Peters, who was a twin to Philip, and then my mother-in-law, Caroline uh, uh, Rising Peters Rockwood. She married Ralph Rockwood. And they had five children, one of whom is my husband, Peter Rockwood, and then my uh, brother-in-law, Philip Rockwood. The other children are Dorothy, then David, who's passed away, and John Rockwood. So that's how our family is related. My mother-in-law, Caroline Rockwood, just passed away last spring. She was almost 100 years old. And her great-grandparents were Philip and Carrie Rising. This is later in life for both of them, Philip and Carrie. They gave the land that is now Rising Park in Lancaster City Park uh, System. It was the first park, and they were almost at the end of their lives when, when that land was given. So Philip died about a year after the park was given, and she died in... Um, you know, just a few years later. But he was in the dry goods business and um, had a very successful um, business here. And then uh, he ended up going into banking. The bank eventually um, became the Fairfield National Bank, which is now Park National Bank. Well, Philip and Carrie Rising sat for these portraits uh, when they were in this house. We're just assuming that. And so they were originally in this house. And then when they're, uh, let's see, when Ida married Henry Beth Peters, they lived in this house. And then when the next generation down, Philip and Dorothy uh, were the generation they took the portraits to the home they lived on uh, 128 East Wheeling Street. They were in their dining room there. Then when they passed away, my mother-in-law, Caroline Peters Rockwood, took the portraits. And just until last February, she was alive and they were in her home. And she wanted them to come back here to the Decorative Arts Center where they originally were from. So we're thrilled that they're back here. They're back together. And um, they look beautiful in this room.